hot mess today, but that's okay. Um, it is Thursday, and um, so I don't have school. It's online week today, but instead of doing it in the morning when we usually would have class, we're doing it for an hour session on Collaborate in the late afternoon. Anyway, so um, yeah, I'm just in my PJs right now, and I'm going to have breakfast. I'm having uh, hot cross buns left over from Easter because it's really hard to get the gluten dairy free ones mm -hmm. and I'm um, having a cup of tea and then um, I'm gonna watch one or two episodes get a little bit of study done today I kind of need a break though um, Wednesdays are so full on um, so I'm going to try and get some more outline of my paper or even just go through the other assignments so I'm clear about what the other assignments that are due at a similar time look like. So I think I'm going to set aside just like maybe two or three hours today and then have the rest of it off. And then I'm going to celebrate my dad tonight for his birthday, which is tomorrow. Oh, I feel like I'm sitting very low. Uh, hey guys, so I, um, sorry, I still look like a hot mess. I'm getting ready to leave to go do some study because I've been very distracted at home. Um, distracted, borderline depressed, I guess, just trying to work my way through it. Um, but yeah, motivation has been really hard to get on top of assignments. And like technically one is due today, um, an 1800 word assignment due 60% of my mark that I haven't really started I have got an extension for it so like I've got a week but I've got three other assignments then due at the same time in two weeks from now or three weeks total so like they're all going to be due right at the same time so I need to get on top of today's one um, so I'm going to leave the house take my study material go find a coffee shop even though it's a public holiday uh, and try and set up and get at least a couple of solid hours done um, before coming home. Other thing, so I had my nurse's phone consult for our frozen embryo transfer. Um, as always with these consults, I was pretty much brushed off when I tried to make a doctor's appointment with our doctor. Um, and at the time and just said no 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 you, you won't need to worry about that till after your frozen embryo transfer um, and all that kind of stuff so I guess just like I have a couple of concerns um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to see him before we do the frozen embryo transfer um, but I kind of want answers and so I don't know if he can give us the answers. Um, yeah, like I don't know any of that. But this frozen embryo transfer is almost twice the cost of our full rounds of IVF. Hey guys. So, um, every time I go to talk, this one decides she needs the pats because apparently all the attention's not on her. Um, so, <laughs> I believe Monday was the last time I videoed and it's now Friday and I had had this plan to go to um, a coffee shop and study and get this assignment done um, that's due next Monday because I've got three others at due and stuff. So I was like, okay, get out of the house, won't be distracted. So I go to the coffee shop and I um, order my weirdo drink because I don't drink coffee. Uh, so it's like a tea latte, which if you're in Australia, no one's ever really heard of before. So I think it might be an American thing, even though it says it's English, but anyway. Um, so I do a Earl Grey tea steeped with hot almond milk instead of regular milk because I'm allergic 
um, with the honey. Anyway, so I like it. It's great. Um, it was a public holiday, so they were quite busy, but there was room. So I ordered food because I planned to be set up for quite some time. And I was saying to them, like, you know, I've got gluten and dairy allergies. It's really important. They're like, oh, well, you know, dairy's not part of any, you know, any of the ingredients. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm asking for toast. And um, quite often they put butter on it and just don't think it. No, 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 they don't do that. Um, so I'm not going to put it in. I was like, okay. I was like... Uh, so they didn't even put in that it was a gluten allergy either, just that because um, the toaster was shared. So they were just going to give me bread instead of toast with my smashed avocado and eggs. Anyway, so I get it. The food wasn't great um, and I can't make, eat much of it anyway. And because I finished off my tea from home first, I was letting it because it takes longer to steep with milk, obviously, than hot water. Um, so I let it sit there for probably like a good 15-20 minutes and had a sip and I was just like, mm, it tastes on the creamy side. Um, but every brand of almond milk tastes completely different. Um, there are some brands that if it's in something, obviously if you just drank it by itself, it tastes like almond milk. But um, in like tea or with other flavors, there's some brands that you can't really tell, I think. I haven't had dairy in a really long time, so maybe my opinion skewed. But anyway, I was like, ah, uh, okay. So I had a couple of sips, and then over the space of the next 15 minutes, as I'm slowly sipping on this, I don't even drink half of it, but my stomach is going crazy. Um, uh, my mouth, it's itchy is not the right word, but it was getting, um, felt really very and and fuzzy and kind of hurt like you know when you've burnt your mouth with eating or drinking something hot it kind of has that like burnt fuzzy feeling that's what it felt like so go to the bathroom I had gut issues um, and then went to the mirror and checked in my mouth and I've got a row of kind of like blisters at the back of my tongue um, and my tongue's looking quite like red um, and then my throat's starting to feel not like it's closed, but really tight, just like something's holding my throat. So I'm like, I'm having an allergic reaction. So I go up, I ask the people, is this, I know it's been like, you know, almost half an hour since I ordered, but do you know, did they put regular milk instead of almond milk? They're like, no, no, they're pretty careful about that stuff. I'm like, I'm telling you, I'm having an allergic reaction. The person at the desk refused to put, like, when they typed in my order, they refused to write that I had allergies. Because, um, again, they were busy and just couldn't be bothered or whatever. Um, I'm having an allergic reaction. Luckily, I had my school bag with me because that has a kind of like not quite pencil case but just like a little um, makeup case or whatever that I keep a bunch of medications including antihistamines so I take not one but two because this is like this is the worst that I have felt um, and I've been told by the person who did my allergies that my milk allergy looks like it's the progressive towards anaphylaxis stage Chad's gone, I'm by myself. I'm taking antihistamines. I know I probably shouldn't be driving because they make you drowsy, but I was like, uh, public holiday. I drove past the GP because there was a couple of uh, cars outside, but it was the dentist that was open, not the GP. So I happened to stop into the pharmacy that's only like one or two streets before my house. And I told the person, look, this is what's happened. Do you think I'll be all right to go home and monitor myself or... Um, they're like, if you're having anything to do with your throat and mouth, like I would go to emergency. And I was like, what's the closest hospital, which was Midland. Um, so that was like only 15, maybe 20 minute drive. But at this stage, I'm now trying not to panic because my throat is feeling really tight. Again, I'm not having problems breathing, but it is starting to get quite uncomfortable. So I drive myself to the emergency department and you have you ever had that feeling when you're on the cusp of crying and if you start crying you know that you're just gonna like I don't know I just knew that if I lost lost it that my throat would like close up and I would get panicked and have a panic attack or my throat would close or whatever 
I tried calling Chad, but of course he's in the middle of nowhere. Um, so I left a voice message just saying, look, I'm having an allergic reaction. I'm on the way to the hospital. I'm okay right now, but that's what's happening. Um, so anyway, I get there. They're like asking all the COVID questions are, do you have a sore throat or do you have difficult breathing or coughing or what, whatever? And I'm like, I'm having an allergic reaction. Um, I've taken any histamines, but my throat is tight. I can breathe, but it's scratchy. So anyway, so they pretty much said, oh, because you can breathe, like you're just going to sit in the emergency department, which is okay, whatever. Um, they're like, but if your breathing changes, then let someone know. So I'm also having to wear a mask, which is already kind of impending on my breathing a bit. And I'm sitting with other people who are like sick in the emergency department. Took about an hour for them to see me, to go into another room to see a different doctor. Because the first one just did an evaluation to triage me and put me into a category. Um, so then I had to go in and wait another hour, hour and a half. Or maybe it was an hour and a half the first time sit, see a doctor a doctor takes me through by that time other than my throat still being sore the swelling and the tightness had kind of eased so the guy who first saw me did say look if your symptoms because i also had a headache and stuff because that's quite often a part of my allergic reactions i get like instant headaches um and so the doctor said, look, once you've taken the antihistamines and your symptoms start to decrease, it's very unlikely that it would increase again to become anaphylactic, but that they would keep me for observation for four hours sort of thing. And I was like, oh, okay. So by the time I got to see the actual doctor in the emergency department, my symptoms, except for the sore throat and stuff, had all pretty much but gone. And obviously just said that this does look like it's on the path to anaphylaxis and that they can't prescribe me or they could prescribe me an EpiPen or get it over the counter, but it could be a couple hundred dollars. So anyway, Friday, had an appointment with my GP, needed to reassess my mental health plan for my psychologist. Um, my auntie on my mum's side has breast cancer. Um, and so I needed to update and see, do I need to start having mammograms or other kind of testing done early? They just said 40, so I'm still two years off of that. Unless I find a lump or something, that means I would need to get checked out. Um, and then go through the process to get an EpiPen for my plan. So now I'm the proud owner of not one, but two EpiPens. For my dairy allergy so I'm like it is not what I wanted but I have it um, I'm hoping that a mistake like that won't happen again but it is just frustrating because I went to get study done and then that whole day was wasted pretty much in the ER and then because by the time I got home so by the time they saw me, it was right around the four hours post exposure mark and taking the antihistamine. So um, they're like, you look good to go. But of course I took not one, but two antihistamines. So I'm like really tired. So I get home, I'm just sore, I'm tired, I'm kind of upset, um, <laughs> but I'm okay. So... Yes, I now own an EpiPen that I have to carry with me everywhere. I'm probably going to keep one in my backpack, I think, because um, it's not like I leave my bag in a car or somewhere hot. It's either always with me or in my office, which is quite cool. Um, and yeah, the other one's going to have to go in my handbag wherever I go. So, yay! Fun times. You know sometimes when you feel like when it rains it pours sort of thing I was like I'm only about two and a half weeks out from our miscarriage I now have to do this and worry about EpiPen stuff and I'm just like oh, I'm just kind of over all the medical stuff but I did um, did have that consult which I think I explained um, 
the price is going to be really expensive this time. So uh, I'm waiting to hear back. I went to book an appointment with the doc, my IVF doctor specialist, because I have questions I want answered. Um, but they were busy at the time that I called and they said they were going to call back and they haven't. So I probably need to follow up with that. So right now I'm getting food because I'm hungry. I'm going to have a small break and then get into study and then Chad comes home tonight. So we've only had one day together since everything happened. And um, so I'm just really looking forward to him being home.